Our second episode on The Geek and the Beast, we're going to talk about The Walking Dead. Mm, scary but awesome at the same time. Peaceful Trade was a so very, very bad, bad idea. They had Noah right there. He was inside and he knew how bad it was in there. He knew how crazy Don was. No. Yeah, he could have told them enough to support Rick's plan and they could have, uh, yeah, they could have just, you know, <sighs> killed everyone and Beth would still be alive. And there would have been a really cool way to kill Don. Beth was so supposed to put her down the elevator shaft. Come on. <laughs> That was supposed to happen. Uh, yes, that would have been much more satisfying than what happened. So yes, we blame Daryl and Tyrese for the whole stupid plan. Yes, that was a very stupid plan. And I wonder if Daryl is going to like kick himself for doing that all season long. I I think so. I think it's really going to affect him because of what happened to Beth. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, speaking of... Uh, Tyrese. Yeah, Tyrese. He's such a bummer. Yeah. He, you know, he was a big powerful character and now he's just kind of whimpering in the corner. Literally, getting people killed. For me, the big thing about Tyrese is that he didn't kill the guy after he tried to kill Judith. Like, oh my come God. on, yes. you have to strike him down with no mercy. Yes. He tried to kill a baby in front of you. Feeling sorry for people can definitely get you killed in The Walking Dead. Now we have to think about what's next for The Walking Dead. What is going to happen this next season? Where are they going now? They, That's the big question. The church is, is done. Gone. It's gone. Um, they have no place really no to, place go. to go. So They do have a fire truck. Yes, they do have a fire truck for but, now. But that... Yes, go back and get the tank from Atlanta before you leave. <laughs> well, I have no real idea of where they're going to be going. No um, I think there will still be some talk about Washington, yeah. even though that whole deal kind of we fell know, through. We know they're not going to the West Coast. No. Because there's no. going to be that spinoff in LA. So we have some other questions, like how the heck is Carol? Yeah. She was dying and then she was okay enough to walk out of the hospital after being hit by a car in the apocalypse and after falling off a bridge too after Wait, hit up, yeah so over the... no big deal yes <laughs> it's just a little bit of trauma without any medical care no really so they're doing so apparently she's okay because beth saved her yeah and she did stand up on her own, so I guess that's a good sign. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully she can still kick some zombie butt. And now we have a new character who has joined the group also. Right. We have Noah. What about Noah? How, Which, re how resentful does the group feel about Noah? Because the whole Beth dying kind of happened because of Noah. Yeah. It did. Like, it was the Noah switch and she was upset about it and she just took her revenge on Dawn and that's it. And, and that, that could be a positive for Noah because if she was willing to do that for him, then the group kind of knows that he was, you know, he was important to her. Yeah. Which is kind of something I was thinking about, but then again, there's just a lot of anger and resentment and you know, just so much emotion after what happened to Beth that I don't Especially know if they're going to. Especially because he's an outsider and they yes. haven't been too keen on outsiders lately. <laughs> and he also tried to kill Daryl and Carol. One really exciting thing is Rick is back to being a badass. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's that. not quite ripping out someone's neck, but it's that almost was, there. That, that, was the, that was a very big beginning to his... <laughs> Badass. I don't know if he'll ever top that though. I, I don't know. The the church was pretty bloody too, but, but yes, the, 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 the running down someone down in a car because they're not listening to you, that, that's pretty fun. <laughs> that's, that, that's pretty brutal. That was, that was awesome. Uh, telling the guy to shut up after you shoot him in the head. <laughs> that, that, was, that, that was funny. I, I really enjoyed that part. Yeah. And I think. 
I think the, the, the turning point for him was when he, like back when he told Gareth how he was going to kill him, and then he followed through with that plan exactly with the red-handled machete. I think that really opened up his new found badassery and took it to the next level. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the next question that seems to be on everyone's mind is Morgan. He's back. He keeps showing up yeah. at the ends of episodes and you get to see a little... Only two episodes. Yeah, at yeah. the end of the two episodes you get to see a little a little glimpse of him. And last time we left him he was a little bit crazy. Pretty crazy. <laughs> he had lost his mind. <laughs> he had lost his mind. And then we took his guts. Well, yeah, well they took his guts. A few of them, yes. Is he sane? I think I think he's totally fine. I think all the stuff that he put on the altar was just a, a series of things that gave him good luck. He could be the governor part two. We oh, don't know. He might have not. aquarium heads. You never I, know. <laughs> I don't think he has aquarium heads. And I don't think he will be... I don't think he's going to turn out to be a bad guy. I'm just hoping that he turns out to be... A really good guy that shows up at the perfect time to save everyone and hopefully they don't join need the saving again. Oh, they're going to they're need gonna saving. Need they're saving going to need saving a lot. Even though I, their group is so solid right now, they have so many people in the group. They have, they have oh my god, their group is I. Besides like the prison, I think this is the biggest the group has been. Yes, yes, I believe so. Even it's it's huge. Even losing Beth, they now they have Noah, and since both groups are now together, it is a big group. And Huge, but that's also a problem because you're gonna have more complex, more mouths to feed, more. It's yeah, gonna be that, a little that's, tough. But that's hard. That's hard when you're on the road. But if they come into a situation where they. You know, they come up against another terminus situation where they need to take out an entire group of people. Oh, they can do they that. They have the numbers to do it and the skills to do it. Easy. How many minutes in to the next episode before we all start crying? How many minutes do you think you're going to make? I am going to say it's going to be about two and a half minutes. Really? Okay. I, I can guarantee when I start crying, it's probably going to be when they show because they're evil, they always show the last episode right as they're tuning in. So we're gonna watch Maggie reacting to Beth yep. dying. Yep. And, and then, then it's going to be The Walking Dead who rears in five, four, yeah. three, and we're just going to be <laughs> sobbing by that point. I'm going to be. I I can almost guarantee it. And then they're probably gonna open up with something really mean. Or maybe they'll just replay the whole thing again because it's The Walking Dead and they just wanna kill. That brings us to our final point where we would like to thank our therapist, our therapist Chris Hardwick, for doing the Talking Dead, so we can actually sleep after the Walking Dead is over. He helps us get through it so well. Oh, we love Chris.